Up in StarClan, several cats fight about whose fault it was that the Dark Forest tricked ThunderClan into fighting. You should have stopped them, says Fernshade, as if Yellowfang is the only dead cat who can tell anyone anything. But back in the real world, Dovepaw blames herself. I did this, thinks Dovepaw, staring at the cat Lion Blaze murdered. After the battle, Jayfeather questions briefly if they should actually be forcing apprentices to fight because Dovepaw is acting traumatized. He decides it's fine because Ivypaw is fine. Leafpool is depressed. Jayfeather thinks about how Longtail is lucky to be dead as opposed to Briarlight, who isn't dead. He follows Ivypaw into her dreams and ends up taking an attendance list in Cat Hell. Meanwhile, Cinderheart takes Lionblaze on a walk to tell him that murder is okay. Murder is bad, Cinderheart, says Lionblaze. Not when you do it. <laughs> then they get attacked by an owl. At least it's not a fox, says Cinderheart. Hi, you suck, murderer, says Flametail from the bushes. It's the middle of the night, Flametail. What the heck what are you doing in there? Not killing people, that's for sure. The next day, Dovepaw overhears that Ivypaw is training in the dark forest. Are you training? In the dark forest? demands Dovepaw. No, responds Ivypaw. Yes, you are. Okay, whatever I am, so what? Those cats are evil. I can change them, Ivypaw yells, skateboarding out of there. Jayfeather decides not to tell Firestar about this for no reason at all. Then he sent Noman about Ivypaw killing everyone in camp. Yeah, I've got this under control. No need to tell Firestar. Hope we don't meet any foxes today. Suddenly, Flametail? You know, F Flametail, main character, point of view character, Flametail? In Shadow Clan, Blackstar replaces his dark ginger deputy with a second dark ginger deputy. Nobody will notice. Okay, that's enough, Flametail. Ivypaw goes to the dark forest and Hawkfrost has everyone play King of the Hill. Wait, no, never mind. Star Clan starts a fire to get Flametail's attention. Something bad is going to happen, says Flametail's ancestors. Can you give me a hint? asks Flametail. Nope, nothing, just be paranoid for a while. Dovepaw prays to StarClan to fix her sister after she fails to tell her to stop training in the dark forest for a third time. She catches Tigerheart trespassing and he uses it as an opportunity to ask her out instead of taking responsibility. Okay, watch out for foxes, says Dovepaw. Back in camp, Millie yells at Jayfeather about Briarlight still being paralyzed. I am a cat, Millie. Millie unleashes a feral screech in response. Flametail tries to tell Blackstar about his vision, but he just turns to Little Cloud and says, Silly young people, instead of listening. Duffpaw meets with Tigerheart and they roll around in the grass a bunch and do cool tricks with logs. Do you love me? asks Tigerheart. Yes, definitely, responds Dovepaw. This is a good decision to make during our first date. She tries to stealth ask if he's been training in the dark forest and he immediately lies to her. As it turns out, Cinderheart and Lionblaze also started going out last night completely off screen. Hmm, what if there was a fox, says Ivypaw while Dovepaw fails at hunting. Several times, despite her superpowers. But then, immediately afterwards, she detects a fox. Who could see this coming? It's breaking into camp to eat all of their babies. Lionblaze looks at it funny and it runs away crying. Ivypaw takes this moment of peace to yell at Dovepaw again. Lionblaze is moderately disappointed he didn't get to commit a murder, so he goes and gets Firestar's permission to kill. He follows the fox home and just completely obliterates it. This is pretty messed up, says Dovepaw. I'm God now, responds Lionblaze. Cinderheart is mildly worried about Lionblaze, so he decides to arbitrarily tell her about his superpowers. You know, the superpowers he's told Dovepaw she can't tell her sister about over and over again. Oh, I, I thought you were just really into murder, says Cinderheart, disappointed. I'm breaking up with you. Wait, no, I am. Come back. Meanwhile, Jayfeather abuses his powers to manipulate Briarlight into having self-worth. Wholesome. Suddenly, Yellowfang kidnaps him. Hey, Jayfeather. Just here to let you in on the hot new bad advice. The clans can't be friends anymore. This is the same bad advice as the last three arcs, Yellowfang. This time, it's even more blatantly wrong. Thanks. He goes to the moon pool and listens in on the rest of the clans also receiving the same terrible advice. He tries to intervene, but Yellowfang literally attacks him. Meanwhile, in the dark forest, Thistleclaw implies that he's killed a child before. 
Then Hawk Frost teaches Ivy Paw how to swim by throwing her in the pool. She learns that handsome and trustworthy Tiger Heart has been skipping class. This has nothing to do with her sister, obviously, who she thinks hasn't been sleeping in the den because she's jealous of her sweet moves. She wakes up bleeding all over the place. A, a thorn did this, she says, with the entire floor drenched. Dovepaw pretends to find a sword in her bedding. Whoops, look at that, a medieval broadsword. Must have been left there as a prank, says White Wing. Okay, there's no way you didn't notice a sword in your bedding, says Cinderheart. Okay, the truth is, I've been training to juggle knives, responds Ivy Paw. I want to be talented, like Dove Paw. Cinderheart believes this more for some reason. Jay and Lion want Ivy Paw to spy. Dove Paw doesn't want Ivy Paw to die. Then Ivy Paw yells at Dove Paw about seeing Tigerheart. It's fine that I train with known evil dead people, but you having a half clan relationship is too far. Oh, so Tigerheart trains there too, haha. <laughs> Dovepaw's life is ruined. Oh, oh, wait, Flametail is a guy. Flametail is in this book, yeah. He gets yelled at for being a very sneaky kitty and goes to look for herbs, where he's given a vision of being eaten by the Loch Ness Monster. Hmm, that's definitely just a metaphor for what will happen if I'm friendly with Jay Feather. Lion Blaze reminds the readers that Leafpool exists just before Breezepelt spikes a bird at him. That's mine, says Breezepelt, 50 feet away. Come and get it then, responds Lion Blaze. Then Lion Blaze beats the crap out of Breeze Pelt while Crowfeather watches. Leaf Pool appears. Night Cloud appears. Breeze Pelt attacks Leaf Pool. Crowfeather removes Breeze Pelt. Night Cloud attacks Crowfeather. Crowfeather hisses at Night Cloud. Breeze Pelt yells at Crowfeather. Everyone else is uncomfortable. Messed up of you to beat up Breeze Pelt, says Cinderheart. Messed up of you to break up with me, responds Lion Blaze. Back in camp, everyone is just a little bit sick. A mysterious benefactor donates Jayfeather yarrow leaves. Unrelatedly, Mothwing is here. Starkland is full of it, and all the medicine cats should be friends, says Mothwing. Yellowfang materializes besides Jayfeather to insult Mothwing and intimidate him. It works, and he tells Mothwing to literally go away forever even though she offers to share herbs. Suddenly, Cherry Kid is dying, and she needs herbs. Thanks, Yellowfang. Duffpaw lets him know that Shadow Clan is sick too, so he puts a combination lock on his herbs. Gee, it's too bad that we can't share all the herbs we have with you, she says to Tigerheart the next time she meets him. The what you have? <laughs> Oopsie, says Dovepaw doing a backflip. Meanwhile, in the distance, Ivy Paw looks down on them with fury in her eyes. She yells madly about who's allowed to date who and who's training in hell until all of Shadow Clan wakes up and kidnaps her. Dovepaw goes home and pretends she didn't see that. Whoa, Ivy Paw's in Shadow Clan camp. How did she get there? Squeaks Dovepaw. They take a patrol over to gather her, but Shadow Clan has decided that they're trading her for Jay Feather's locker combination. Oh no, thinks Dovepaw. My manipulative boyfriend is manipulative, actually. Ivy Paw scares the Shadow Clan kids half to death. Blackstar thinks this is funny. She goes to apologize to them, but Flametail interrupts her by coming in and screaming about war and violence. Then ThunderClan steals her back and everybody rapidly lies about everything. At the gathering, everyone's muttering about how they're going to be randomly attacked. Blackstar and Firestar argue about the situation they already settled and everyone goes home. On the way out, Dovepaw stops Tigerheart and accuses him of using her. Oh, I am. Yeah, but I still love you, baby. We needed those. I did more. Let's kiss. Dovepaw does not kiss. Meanwhile, asleep, Ivy Paw finds a weird mushroom. In doing so, she overhears Tigerstar. We are still evil and bad, shouts Tigerstar. And we don't have your best interests at heart. Oh no, I was tricked this whole time somehow, thinks Ivy Paw. Then Maple Shade tries to drown her. Exciting. Dovepaw wakes her up and takes her to see Lion Blaze and Jayfeather. I want you to spy for us, says Jayfeather. Will you tell me your secret, or just let me carry on being weird and jealous of Dovepaw forever? asks Ivy Paw. The latter, responds Lion Blaze. <laughs> says Dovepaw, telling her anyways. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? asks Ivy Paw. Illegal, responds Dovepaw. Okay, well, everything I ever did wrong is now definitely your fault, and I refuse to take responsibility for my actions. Okay. She agrees to be a spy because she doesn't know how to get out anyways. Back in Shadow Clan, the apprentices and warriors tempt Flametail onto the ice. 
What are you doing down here? Throwing rocks at each other. Sounds great. Suddenly, the warrior cat's lake monster bursts from the ice and drags Flametail under. Jayfeather tries to help, but Rock shows up and uses telepathy on both of them to tell them to stop because the plesiosaur demands a sacrifice. In ThunderClan, Firestar announces Flametail's death. Every cat competes to say the funniest quip afterwards. Then Ivypaw dreams herself into the dark forest and finds out there's just hundreds of cats there. Wasn't the point of this place being lost and alone forever? We forgot. Tigerstar stands in front of everyone and announces they're going to kill the clan cats. They apparently think the apprentices will stay because of sunk cost policy. Broken Star takes Ivy Paw aside and brings out Flametail's ghost, which he has for some reason. Okay, kill this ghost. You can't kill a ghost. This is Warrior Cat's Ivy Paw. You can probably kill ghosts twice. Oh, okay, says Ivy Paw, just 100% ready to kill Flametail's recently dead spirit for Dark Forest points. Whoa, hey, no, that's my brother, screams Tigerheart. I'd definitely let you kill this person otherwise, though. Okay, says Grandpa Tigerstar. Anything for my favorite boy. The end.